Antoinette, tell us something about your game today. Well, I mean, it was, uh, of course, I like all the games that I win. So, <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah, I think it was uh, more or less fine, the game, although probably we both missed some more precise moves, but uh, somehow I got the initiative from the yes. opening and then I managed to convert. Have you played it before? Uh, yes. Actually, I think she is one of the few girls that I didn't play 100 times. <laughs> <laughs> but we played, I think, five games. We have played in the last World Championship, in the knockout. In Which the, you won? In uh, round two, I mm -hmm. won in the tiebreak. Right. Uh, but then I lost, I think, in World Rapid or Blitz, something like this. I okay. lost one game. So. So you saw her game against Valentina earlier in the tournament? And you yes, even though it is very difficult since we have big problems with the internet, but I managed. <laughs> <laughs> I managed to see this game. Yeah. Right. OK, let's have a look at the game. Thank you. OK, Antoinette, let's have a look at your game. Yeah. OK, so let's start quickly from the beginning. It was Queen's Indian with Bishop A6. Dinara already played yes. against Gunina. Uh, something similar. It was kind of this variation. Okay, she takes. It. Oops, why is not moving? Okay, castle, castle. I think <coughs> up to here it was the game with Gunina, or at least it was very similar. I'm not yes. sure. And but I think against Gunina maybe she went now Bishop B7. Bishop B7, yeah. And. Rook e8, the idea is that now if I try to go this bishop c1, bishop b2, then there is bishop b4 and I'm just losing material. So I have to go knight e5, bishop b7. And okay, I decided to go for this plan in any case. I'm not sure uh, how black should play correctly here. But uh, okay, in general, I was quite happy with my position. I mean, OK, it's just a normal position, but somehow after my game yesterday, <laughs> it was a relief to have such a harmonious position today. <laughs> so uh, it was looking more normal, at least. So rook c1, c6. So in general here, I was looking for different plans, but I somehow couldn't make it work like e4 immediately or something like this. But yes. I thought that. Uh, I'm not in a hurry to do these things. And rook c2, okay, some standard moves. Rook c7. And f4. I'm not sure. Uh, okay, I mean, in a way, it's a kind of normal idea in this position, but of course, you have to always calculate what happens after c5 or. Uh, yes. Yeah. Uh, different things. I mean, it's very complicated position and normally both sides, they have good chances. <laughs> so who plays better normally wins the games here. So bishop b4. It's obvious that, okay, black is fighting for the e4, e4. square. Yeah. So queen c1, I'm trying to put yeah. pressure on c6. And bishop d6. Um, I mean, here, of course, after uh, queen c1, she cannot just take on c3 because rook takes and c6 is hanging. So bishop d6. And OK, I somehow couldn't make it work because uh, I quite liked my position in this point. But it's not easy to find something forced, right? So I don't know. I was thinking to go just g4. g4, yeah. And try to play g5. OK, black cannot really take on e5, because then uh, after knight takes g4, knight takes d5. Uh, oh, mean, yes. I mean, this line, it is, I don't know with which pawn to take in this case, but let's say here, and I can just take on d5. So I don't mm -hmm. know, maybe g4 was uh, better than what I played, but I somehow really like this bishop a3 because I thought that 
I'm winning this C6 pawn and okay, in fact I did in the game, but I'm not sure if this, <laughs> this was the right plan because suddenly black was very active. Okay, so here, take, take and okay, it's quite difficult for black to hold this position because somehow yeah. this C6 is uh, under pressure and black is quite passive, but on the other hand, it's not so easy for white as well because mm -hmm. at some point you have to make some decisive blow and uh, yeah. okay, I was getting a bit short of time and I'm not sure that I did it in the right way. So here, 98, I mean, okay, black should, uh, I mean, white should be much better already here, but I'm not sure what I did was correct and I didn't have time to check with my computer, <laughs> so <laughs> I have no idea if I missed something. Yes. And where it was? Do you yeah. know? I don't, I'm afraid. You don't know? No. Okay. So, night this. I don't, yeah. I don't think there was anything that jumped out of the computer. No, here. This okay, this bishop h3 was a very tempting move because I stopped rook e6, but <coughs> in a way I give some chances because, let's say, c5 and then d4. Yeah. Um, opens up a long time. Yes, but I, I was calculating here some rook d2 and I... Okay, I mean, I can always go back with uh, the bishop on g2 and... I don't know, uh, maybe I calculate correctly, maybe not, uh, but... In any case, she didn't go for it. Ah, and uh, maybe she could go for f6, f6 yeah. and... Then... Okay, but f6... Um, well, no, f6 she cannot Thanks. because I just take, take and take, take, take and now I just have rook c8 and exchanging the queens and I believe it should be much better for, for white and I am not sure even if she can, I mean I have some rook e8 uh, stuff. Could you? Yes, and rookie eight they, tricks. But maybe, if, yeah. no, uh, but I was oh, no. thinking yeah. somehow to make it more precise, but I'm not sure. To include some king f2, but then maybe queen e7. But uh, it should be much better this end game for white in any case. So. Should go back to the game? Yeah. 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 Jump back. Okay, so knight d6, and I was. Actually, I, I didn't see knight d6, to be honest. So, I mean, I cannot take directly on c6 because uh, maybe there are some Nasty. tricks like this. Yeah. Yeah. So, and uh, I'm not sure. I was thinking maybe to play something slow like knight d2 because somehow my pieces they don't look, look so harmonious anymore, right? Mm -hmm. uh, but on the other hand, sometimes, uh, okay, you just have to play for the material and then see what happens. So after queen b4, actually, again, it's not easy for black to find the move. And what she did was uh, very interesting. And I think I have to take already, otherwise c5 is coming. And then take, take, how was it? Take. Why I cannot? Okay, so that's the point. Uh, because before, when my queen was on a3, I could have queen c1, and then black has no activity whatsoever. But uh, now, okay, I mean, I have to go queen a4, because I cannot uh, just allow take this, and yeah. allow this yeah, uh, yeah. queen to enter here. This is clear. Mm -hmm. And uh, somehow here, uh, probably... I somehow lost the advantage, or at least I'm very near to losing the advantage. So here, already some tricks with some checks, so I thought, okay, only way to consolidate. Somehow I cannot move this uh, knight, and I don't really have time for bishop g2 back. So I was not so Not too happy. happy. No. And a5, of course, is very strong with the idea of what happened in the game, but yeah. I didn't see anything better than this. And then b5. And okay, I mean, this uh, end game, I'm not sure if it is winning for white.
because I think how we played, we passed from some three times repetition, if she wanted. Yes. But uh, I'm not sure if I had something better after Ruxi 2. Because, uh, okay, I mean, I can decide to give a piece in many different ways, and then I have a lot of pawns, and I could not uh, decide. I mean, I thought that, okay, King D3 sounds uh, the most logical move here. Yeah. Um, I somehow didn't like King F3. <laughs> it looks very strange, no? Yes, nearly get check. checkmated and chased onto the king side. Uh, it doesn't feel comfortable, does it? Doesn't, no. So that's why I decided to play here. But the problem is that how we played in the game after Rook B2. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure if Rook B2 was the right move. Maybe simply rook take, take a2, take a2 yeah. uh, still threatening uh, knight f2 check. Yes. Maybe it's better um, because I don't have knight c3, knight f2 yes. mate then. Yeah. So, I mean, I can simply go with the bishop, of course, and then it's a uh, draw. But I, uh, I mean, it was not my right. uh, my idea to make a draw. So right, I'm not sure, I mean, if there was something better. Anyways, she decided to go for the piece, but now, okay, I was, I mean, I could somehow give it in a different way. I don't remember now how, but okay, let's see here. And now here, I think, um, yeah, here it is probably a draw. Standing slightly in front of the board. Yeah, yeah. so king d3, and yeah. if she repeated knight f2, King C. Okay, I can try knight, uh, King C4, of course. Yeah, that's um, tempting, isn't it? Just to go and support the queenside pawns. Yes, I mean. That's uh, what you like to do. Yeah, so maybe it was not a. It was never a three times repetition possible. I thought there was one somewhere. I thought there was one in the game. No, because uh, I went huh? the first time here, but I am not forced to do it the second time. No, you can go to. So, I mean, if knight f2, I can just go to c4, yeah. c4, yeah. And yeah. here I think, okay, uh, it should be, should be somehow winning for white, right? I but think uh, so, yeah. I, I think, think I was not very precise. So I started with this move. But on the other hand, maybe it was enough what I did. Yes. Just, uh, <coughs> okay, I mean, of course, black also has... Uh, choice which pawns to take, but I believe that my A pawn is quite fast, so... Yeah. I mean, what she did was logical, because she took this pawn and trying to activate the knights, but then... Uh, somehow, after rook c5, uh, I think, okay, I, I stay with two pawns up and not three anymore, but uh, oh. I'm ready to push and somehow yes. her knights are quite passive, so... So, I don't know, maybe I had something more precise to play, but uh, okay, during the game you have to be a bit practical as well, right? So, you just play what you see and uh, <laughs> hope for the best, right? Yes. So, I played here, of course she cannot take because B takes and then this A pawn is yeah. just running. And here was an important moment. I was not sure if I should take or not because of course, I didn't want to give my strong bishop, but on the other hand, it's so dangerous with these two knights. Two knights she, jumping around. She, yes, she can start, and I don't know, tricks. some checks and some tricks, and uh, I... I feel, I feel more comfortable with a knight off the board, I think. Yes, but I'm not sure. Maybe just a5 was uh, easily winning. I'm just not sure. But anyways, I decided that it's more simple like this. And here was the moment. Okay, this is precise to make me play a5 because um, there, there was a line, for example, if she goes direct here and e7. No, she's, she's just not on time, right? Because uh, yes, she, she cannot. But uh, there was some line. Where was it? Uh, okay, so let's see. Rook b3, a5, and now here, here. 
And if now I go B7, then it's check. And here is what I meant. Because with my pawn on A4, she could never have this check, but yeah. now she has it. I see. Yeah. So, I mean, I'm not sure if uh, this is still winning or not. But I decided to go for rook C5. Yeah, yeah sorry. Yeah. And... Um, Okay, check. Okay, here also I think she didn't play very precise, but maybe there is nothing to do simply for black. And yeah. somewhere here I did something strange. Uh, yes, this I f5, f5. May, maybe it's not necessary. Maybe I can just, just uh, rook b5, b5 direct. Yeah. But uh, I was not sure what's going on after this move. And then check. And then what do you do? True, yeah, it's tricky. So, I mean, it's... Another check. Uh, and then... Um, Spawn drops, yeah. Yes. So, that's why I wanted to play f5 first, to be able to... I mean, so there is no more knight d5, and also I can get... But yeah. I'm sure here there was another winning move, because f5... Okay, maybe it is uh, strong, but after this move... Okay, I mean, uh, of course she can uh, kind of take here, but it should be winning, right? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> so, yeah. okay, but I gave my pawn. <laughs> but it's still winning for white. So, and okay, let's uh, just quickly go to the end. Yep. And yeah, okay, I mean, this uh, simple trick, right? Because yes. if she yeah, takes, course. then take, check. King a7 not to get some tricks and b7 is yeah, go, go through, so yeah. yeah so king d5 but then it's uh, very simple it's uh, just yeah. take yeah. and a7 the pawns are too strong and okay this is not a fortress so yes after a few moves she resigned okay thank you very much okay thank you <laughs>